where is it? So it should be in progress. So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, we have nine people so far, including myself. <laughs> cool. Um, I'll probably start. So the first thing, just so this you know shouldn't take longer than thirty minutes. I hope. Um, so we have we had our our big events, right? So we had uh, our Condor Hacks event uh, during Student Success Week. Um, we are going to have demo uh, demo day on December eighteenth, which will be or actually we'll um, move it a little bit since I received a couple of requests uh, uh, since some student since some students uh, have exams on that day. Um, so we'll just move it on the following week, um, and it will be in December, the end of December, and um, essentially. All of these events are to help you prepare for the solution challenge, which is organized by Google. Um, and essentially just like a global competition of projects that students work on. And then at the end of the year, uh, like around March, they will submit it. Like you'll be able to submit it. And like essentially Contact Hacks and Demo Day are the events that help you prepare um, to Solution challenge. Um, so these are just the events. So you are able to register for the demo day already. Uh, you can find all the descriptions. So I actually can go to the page probably. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, we will have. So you have like event description, just uh, again. It can be your, you can submit your final project or with some modifications. I'm not sure you will need to ask your teacher about that since it's like economic integrity and stuff. But um, also, but if it's possible to submit your final projects, you are welcome to. Um, also, if you've been working on something, I know from Condor Hacks or something on your personal time, during your personal time, you're welcome to submit it as well. Um, we, we also encourage capstone project submissions. So if it's like your last semester and you worked on a capstone project, you're welcome to submit it. Um, agenda is here, again, it, it will change. Uh, requirements to for members, but if you cannot find a team, we, will, we still will allow individual submissions. Um, just uh, you must be current Conestoga College student and also you need to be an official member of the club to, to be eligible to receive uh, prizes. And uh, you can just uh, follow this link uh, to apply, like to become an official member. Then judging criteria, you can find all the criteria here. So you can like anticipate well, what you will be asked for and some prizes. Um, so this is per team, right? So if like your team wins $200 and you had two members in a team, each member will get $100, right? Uh, and then, yeah, if you have any questions, just message me on Discord. Um, it's, yeah, I, I am under my real name, Alexander, but you can find me there as well. Um, cool, so you're welcome to RSVP. And um, we also will give a uh, free swag, like some little swag or, or I don't know, a couple of prizes for every person who's, uh, who submits the project. So for every team that submits the project, every team member will get a prize regardless of what uh, place they take. So like you can get some, like it's something little, but it's still nice. Uh, I'm not sure what it will be yet, but let's see. Cool. So yeah, so far, again, these are the prizes that we will have. Um, as, and again, as I said, uh, I received a couple of requests from students to postpone uh, the demo day. So this is the form that I created. Uh, and essentially it just gives you a number of days. Um, and then from 5 to 9 p.m. anytime, you might have a demo. Uh, so just please submit this, uh, these responses. Um, and um, 
yeah, essentially, this way we will be able to see what time works for you, right, uh, for your demos. And if it, or actually we can change our strategy a little bit. Maybe we will not have live demos. We will just have, we will, we will ask you to record a video presentation of your project. And then we would just like, I don't know, um, and we would just evaluate your video presentation, right? Without asking you some any questions or something like this. But I still believe that in person, like at least uh, um, online interaction is a little bit better. Like, I mean, uh, when we are on the same call, since we can ask you a couple of questions and um, see what you learned, right? Um, and kind of evaluate that part as well. Uh, so yeah, it, it may change. We'll keep you posted on the Discord channel. So please, uh, please submit this uh, form now. Um, yeah, it just will help us to define what day works for us better. Um, cool. Uh, as I suggest some statistics, so we had only, so we had 64 students register for under hex, but we had only two uh, valid team submissions. So only two people, uh, two teams submitted, four people in total. And uh, we were wondering with the whole team, why could it be the case? So maybe like student success week, uh, some of you wanted to relax or just catch up with some material. Uh, maybe also lack of transparency, number of submissions. So like maybe you thought that there was like a huge competition, right? So you thought maybe there are like 10 or 15 submissions, but there wasn't, right? So there was very little competition. And like you essentially by submitting a project, you, uh, every team could receive like a prize, right? Because only two, um, two teams submitted the project. Um, and that's, yeah. Anyways, um, I started to mumble. <laughs> uh, our, maybe, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you are not motivated enough to make submissions. Uh, and again, we just want to uh, say that capstone project, final projects are welcome. Uh, just be careful with academic integrity. You know, we'll need to ask your professors about it. And um, also, again, any projects that you started working on since like September this year, you're welcome to submit them, uh, either individually or in a team. Also, I would appreciate some answers from you like what could why was there such a small turnout maybe i didn't cover I, I didn't cover every like one of these reasons is not covering what you think might have influenced uh the, the turnout so can you share your thoughts please um either in the chat or just yeah. unmute yourself sorry yeah you want <laughs> okay sorry i didn't know if there was another form or what uh yeah. can i give my opinion on why sure yeah okay <laughs> uh i think that just like a lot of students um okay so like i have uh, a discord for all the like bachelor computer science uh students for our cohort mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like i've run into similar issues of trying to get people to like do things <laughs> so like uh in the beginning uh like i was trying to get like everybody to like or not not even everybody just like people to um like play some games and like that sort of thing and i found mm -hmm. it extremely difficult and it was only like two people showing up so i feel that it's just people say yes and then they say no or like in their heads they say no or they're kind of flaky mm -hmm. which like you can't you can't change people unfortunately <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it might just be a situational kind of thing mm -hmm. i see yeah thank you for sharing uh, i appreciate it i see eric uh you're welcome to engage yourself um i feel like part of it might be uh like with clubs in general i, I don't know for sure but it might be because of the online learning people aren't as motivated to get out and join clubs as much mm. but i don't know it's it's still my first year so i don't, I don't know how things work on campus but mm -hmm. it's just, just a thought 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, like, I don't, actually, I asked uh, the faculty to send like emails for the hackathon, right, event, um, and like all 1300 students received an email about Condor Hacks, but like, they saw, as I said, only like 64 registered, right? And it's like, and we also have like, currently we have around 200 official members. So all of them also received an email from our core team. Yeah. But anyways, okay. I see that there are a couple of submissions. Uh, oh, sorry, questions. It's like question, what if team I worked with during the final project of our course don't work, don't want to work on it for the final. Uh, and I want to work on it with other members. Um, uh, I to, mean, yeah, you yeah. Want to, like reword it. Elaborate or? a little bit. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, like so. Like I'm working on like a project three course um, with my team for a course in bachelor's of computer science. And I mean, I think the, the program and application is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I would want to apply it for demo day, but I mean, there's a chance that I would like to extend it and make it more robust for the solution challenge. But mm -hmm. my, I talked to my teammates that helped work on the modules and for their reason for not kind of joining in is probably because of time. Like they're thinking about co-op and they don't know if they can be able to commit but then now I, even if I wanted to take it, obviously from an integrity standpoint, they already committed and put in work. So I would want to fork it and then have other people, you know, work on mm -hmm. it. But I feel like now that's a team of eight people or do you know what I mean? If I were to ask other members. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I want to say, don't hesitate like to apply for a demo date, like we, like this is just our Conestoga internal event, right? So we created just uh, to create like friendly environment to help you prepare uh, for the solution challenge because solution challenge is more global and it will be like a bit more stressful, I would say. Uh, so we just wanted like to um, help you, you know, adjust to that environment and like little by little. So any, whatever state your project is in, uh is that you are welcome to submit it even if it like if it's not perfect like even if it crashes sometimes or something like this you're you still are welcome to submit it obviously it's better if it works but um uh, this way you will be able to um you will have more chances to win something but at the end of the day still participation is more important um and to the second part of the question like if your teammates do not mind that you were that you continue working on that project with other people like I don't like to be honest I don't see anything bad <laughs> uh, like if you if you have a consent from them that they're good with it that you can fork it and then continue working on it with other team uh, with other team members it's also fine um, the only thing maybe during your presentation or like during your demo video, right? When you submit your project, um, just mention, okay, we forked this project at this stage and like together as a team, we added this, this and that functionality, right? So we can see like what progress you made. Um, so this is a couple of comments I have. Does this answer your question? Yeah, that, that definitely does. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Um, again, don't hesitate to to submit your project for a demo day. Um, cool. Then, hey, good evening, everyone. I just joined this meeting first time, so I don't have any idea about the project, but I really want to participate for the next one. Yeah, so the next one is demo day. It will be later uh, after December 18th. It will not be exactly December 18th. Uh, please submit this form, like because we just uh, have a little survey of like when the demo day should be conducted. Um, cool. So then the answer I got from a bunch of people was that people wanted to relax for reading week. I think it will improve uh, as well when you can start doing some in-person social events. Yeah, maybe. Um, 
thank you for yeah, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Um, and then for this, okay, cool. Um, cool, perfect. Uh, hope I answered everything. Um, thank you. Then um, yeah, again, thank you for sharing your thoughts. If you like have other feedback or like you want to share something with me, you're welcome to message me on Discord or email me. Cool. Um, then please encourage your peers uh, to join the club and participate in demo day. Uh, we'll give swag to every team that submits a project. So again, like something, something, <laughs> not sure yet. Uh, we have some budget from that Kinestoga allocates for us uh, as a club, and uh, we want to spend it uh, on, on people who are active. So Um, mm -hmm. I also see that some people say that uh, people didn't have um, yeah, I didn't uh, I just didn't think of anything to make for the challenge, and that's why um, they didn't make a submission. Um, mm -hmm. So just if you don't have any ideas um, for the project, we actually have a couple of them so like if you go to you can take ideas from solution challenge itself so like go to solution challenge website and then here there are like 17 sustainable nation um uh sorry united nations sustainable development goals and you can just pick one of these right and this way you can kind of focus on something um Maybe the most relevant would be quality of education, since we are all students, um, or something else that you might find interesting. So this are, these are just some ideas. Um, cool. Then, yeah, here I will just drop um, some links. Okay, I just see that somebody emailed me and yeah, I didn't respond to it yet. Okay, I will check it. Sorry, sorry for the delay in my response. Uh, I will check my inbox again. Um, cool. So here are the links. So if you are not an official uh, member yet, you are uh, like you can just see this is our social media of the club. So this is GDSE portal where you can see all of the events. Right. This is um, like a form to become an official member and all other links that we have. Um, cool. Then in demo day, yeah, please register for it. This way you will be able to see all the changes that, uh, that occur on the page and to the schedule, to the agenda, uh, to marking, etc. cetera. Um, cool. Then also we have a Firebase intro event. So introduction to Firebase on December 3rd. Oh, okay, I, I took the wrong banner. <laughs> uh, it will be December 3rd, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, or yeah, 6 p.m. AST. It will be one hour and a half. So I know that a couple of students uh, actually tried using Firebase for their projects. So uh, if you want to hone your skills or like learn it from scratch, you are welcome to join. Um, Cool. And then any suggestions for cloud improvement? Uh, so this is just uh, Q&A time. Um, um, yeah, actually, okay. About emails. So I actually don't respond uh, to emails that from my Conestoga email. I don't respond to any emails that come from outside of Conestoga organization. So like if you send me an email from your Gmail, so that uh, like, uh, I just don't respond to it since, um, I don't know, it's kind of policy thing or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I would appreciate it if you could resend me this email from your Conestoga email. Cool. Um, so again, you're welcome to unmute yourself and just um, um, share your thoughts. Uh, any suggestions, any events you want to run like in the future, maybe you're interested. We still have like one month left 
for a little bit less. Um, yeah, but so far we just have Firebase planned and then demo day. Uh, actually, we also want to host another event for testing. Uh, so software testing, like how to protect your applications from hacking, from hackers, etc. So this might be coming like, I don't know, December 10th, something like this. Uh, but it's not uh, official yet. Yeah, um, maybe you have like other thoughts or something. <laughs> Just share them. Um, uh, I thought one thing that would be cool is like maybe like learning on how to build like more concise and like robust code versus like, or like maybe I guess tips and tricks on developing and maybe even talking about like co-op experience. Cause I know like there's a lot of first and second years. Mm -hmm. I know that this is a Google club, but I guess that's part of what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I would definitely. Uh, we uh, had an event oh, 10 months ago or something like this. Um, and we had yeah co-op panel where I don't remember how it was called. Uh, so yeah, we invited a couple of uh, industry professionals like from different companies. And we uh, like just uh, asked them to share the thoughts with the students, right? Who are looking for a co-op. So in this way they like could connect with potential employers. And also I just want to emphasize that if we get enough submissions, we can invite someone from um, like companies, like I, I'm currently on my co-op at Vico. Um, no, I mentioned, uh, like I mentioned it in every single event. It's a really good com company, so like, just check it out. We uh, might, again, I, I'm, we might invite some people from this company, and also um, from Google if we get enough submissions. Yeah, I, I like because like, if we get at least like five submissions, that'd be great. Uh, then this way we could like get some industry professionals invited but otherwise it's just not very feasible uh because they don't want like to waste their their time as well um so yeah just please make sure to submit it, your project this way you kind of help <laughs> uh make the event more engaging yeah but we will definitely have something for you, um for job search and for co-op search yeah i'm not sure if this will be this semester or actually we might organize something um by the end of the semester so yeah that thank you yeah thank you for this comment um any anyone else anything you want to say <laughs> um i think maybe branching off of uh emmanuel's kind of thing about like um more concise, like maybe kind of advertising it more as like, um, oh, like let's build like this kind of an app or like let's let's build like this kind of a website or something like that rather than like uh, intro to Firebase. Cause like if someone doesn't necessarily know what these technologies are, they yeah. might not know like, oh, like what, what does this do? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good um, and you could even do like, like a cool idea is like, um, if you wanted to make like some kind of web, web uh, browser based game or something uh, that's using like some of the Google technologies too, you could maybe spread it over like a couple of weeks, right? Mm -hmm. um, like focus on like the leaderboard one day and that's using Firebase yeah. and like that sort of thing. That might be a cool idea too. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually a good point. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, and I second uh, a manual stuff on like uh, um, like uh, building like professional skills uh, uh, and that sort of thing too. I, I, I very much enjoy those. Oh, well, by professional skills, like you, can you elaborate on the part? Yeah, so uh, like uh, this wasn't with, uh, this Google Club, but uh, there was the in 
not intro to Git. It was the like, um, uh, like um, leveling up like your GitHub uh, account. Profile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, profile. Yeah. And um, like I got a lot out of that one, more than what I expected. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And just like things like that. Like I know Emmanuel said uh, co op stuff, right? Like maybe what we can expect. Um, because I assume a majority of us are probably in a co-op uh, stream. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just, I don't know, <laughs> things like that, maybe. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like something that would help you yeah. kind not of it, like, improve your portfolio or something like this. Uh, yeah, and, and not, it doesn't even have to be like directly code related. It could just mm -hmm. be like more trying to like, like you said, like portfolio related or um, job interview stuff, like how to behave, yeah. right? How to yeah. search, yeah. like what? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 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 things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I got you. Yeah, cool. We'll take it into consideration. Yeah, thank you. Uh, also, a couple of um, events that we have. So this is like um, dashboard. Um, so these are events, the upcoming ones. Uh, we have, there was one session already, it was like, I don't remember when it was, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, it's uh, from light bulb to launch. So essentially what this series is about, it's essentially um, to help you start your project like from scratch and like to launch, right? So sometimes um, like a lot of people have trouble um, building a good plan for the project development, right? You just think, oh, I will sit and write code, right? But then when you are in, in development process, you're kind of very uh, lost, like what to do and like where to go, where to move next. So essentially what this uh, event series helps you with is um, it kind of guides you through how to um, develop your applications from scratch and then little by little how you can improve them and then deploy them etc so essentially it gives you the whole project life cycle right um so yeah i do suggest you um i um i didn't get a chance to go there um by my, myself but i do suggest you visit visit them since they will be very helpful for you um just to find out what the project life, the life cycle is. Cool. Um, okay, any other comments before we move on to the next part? <laughs> the last part. Uh, cool. Okay, so let me take a second then. Uh, and I'll just, I know there is a fast way of copying and pasting like the names uh, from Zoom meeting. Uh, probably no. <laughs> so, I don't think so. I had to do this for one of my courses. <laughs> and, I uh, I'm pretty sure I just ended up typing them out into a notepad and then saving um, the notepad, so. Okay, then I will share my screen and you'll need to see how I type. <laughs> okay, so where is it? If we all type out our name, it'll be faster. Uh, but I doubt that it's like uh, by ID. It will just like it just a link. Like everyone has a um, like their unique will, a wheel. You know what I mean? Uh, um, okay. Um, cool. Um, if I misspell someone's name, I do apologize. <laughs> uh, um, cool. Okay, uh, and also someone is under their email. Could you please uh, change your email to your name? So I can just... Uh, 
Let's know who you are. <laughs> yeah. cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so how many people do we have? One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, eleven, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and eleven. Cool. Um, okay, so the prize today is a um, bottle and egg. <laughs> Um, from Google Developers in Clubs, like with the logo. Uh, and uh, also, I will, I don't know, I, the way I will distribute it, I will probably drop it, or actually, you know, uh, we'll need to communicate with you uh, in Discord, but just to find out what would be the best way. Uh, but anyways, so let's probably click it and see. One, two, three. Uh, cool. Congratulations, Eric. Uh, Thank you. So cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, could you drop me a message on Discord? Uh, just I know uh, where you are, <laughs> and probably can just uh, communicate later uh, and like find out the best option where I can give you the swag. Okay. Uh, just just like DM you. Yeah. Yeah. Please. I'd appreciate okay. it. Yeah, cool. Um, um, okay, so then I don't I don't have anything else. Again, I please, please, please do submit your projects for the demo day. Uh, this yeah, <laughs> we just also want to have some engagement, you know, activities, uh, etc. So We'll come up with some prizes again for everyone who submits the project, not necessarily for the winners. Um, regardless of what place you take, you will get the prizes. So, yeah, cool. Um, then I will stop the recording. And unless you don't have any other questions, um, I thank you very much for your time and uh, see you around. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank you. And yeah, Thank for you. for me, the thing is, even with all the like uh, different seventeen topics there, like education and whatever, I just couldn't actually uh, think of any program to write to match mm -hmm. those topics. That's why I just didn't submit anything. Just to uh, put that. Uh, I would. Maybe in this case, I would just suggest uh, that you like just to work something that would help you learn something new, like specifically maybe taken as an example, Firebase, right? So just even if you find a tutorial on YouTube uh, about Firebase and like uh, create and you create a similar app, you know, and maybe integrate some other stuff in it. It's, uh, it's also cool, right? So it's not necessarily that you must follow these topics. It's just like, um, like we just want to see that you learned something, that you did it by yourself, uh, right? So this is like the main requirements that we have. Um, yeah, so it's like, don't stress about it too much. Like just create something that would help you learn and develop, right? So this is like the biggest, no go.